right guys, so here we have the Bespin Han Solo from the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back Black Series wave of figures. And there's a bug in the shot. Would you look at that, folks? There is a little bug who thinks he can just butt in here. You motherfucker. Okay, so here's Bespin Han Solo. We'll set the figure off to the side. He comes with some really average packaging. A nice picture here. Some Ford. You can see Han Solo, Bespin, and Green. Empire Strikes Back at the top. And then a little shiny chrome looking sticker. Nice Kenner logo too for that vintage packaging feel and look. And you got some pictures of the other figures in the wave, the at, -AT driver, at at whatever you want to say. Han Solo, Prince Leia, Yoda, and Luke Skywalker from his best spin duel with Vader. So um, aside from all the warnings and the little uh, text there, there's not much more to the packaging. So let's take a look at the figure. Okay, so here we have Han Solo's blaster here, which is significantly smaller than um, the new Hope blaster that we got. But it does look nice for the most part. Nice sculpting, obviously. Decent paint on the hilt. It does fit in his hand exactly how it should. Very well, at least in his right hand. In his left hand, um, I don't think it fits simply because the trigger finger doesn't really come off of the other fingers. So maybe if you want to take an X-Acto knife and cut in there, you could probably pry that off. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. Otherwise, it does fit in his holster pretty well as well. You can snap that off and slide the blaster in uh, like so. It fits really snug in there, though, as you can see. You can probably shut that on there, but it's a bit difficult because it's all soft plastic. So you'd have to fidget with it a little bit, but it will fit in there eventually. Otherwise, this is a nice blaster. It has a lot of nice detailing on it. Um, once again, it is significantly smaller. I'm guessing there is some variation between the Episode 4 and Episode 5 blaster, but I'm not entirely sure. I do know in most images I've seen of uh, Han Solo with a blaster from Episode 5, there is silver here on the end, like with this Episode 4 blaster, which is, I think, just a lot, has a way better paint job. You can even see some silver scuffing on that. But nothing on this, it's just a flat kind of black with no silver on the end. So that's unfortunate, but maybe I'm wrong about the silver being on the end. But um, just comment below and let me know if you know. But it would have been nice to have a little bit of a better paint job and some scuffing, at least. Okay, so first things first with Han, let's take a look at this face sculpt of his. I believe this is using that new photo reel technology, which so far with the other characters has looked fantastic. Fantastic on Luke, great with Leia, fantastic on Luke again, good on Lando, but decent on Harrison Ford. Now, it, I, I do think myself it is a big step up from the new Hope face. However, the new Hope face had a better proportion face where this guy's jaw and lip almost look like they're pushed over and the jaw sticking out on that side. It just looks a little funky, but it definitely captures Harrison Ford's face. Um, it is still bearable. I don't think it's all that bad, but relative to the other faces that they've done this wave, I don't think it really um, is nearly as good. The The hair, though, looks a heck of a lot better than this hair as well. It's definitely a nice, uh, lighter bit of brown than the New Hope Han Solo. However, with that aside, this figure doesn't have very many issues. We'll get to focus here. He, um, he kind of gives me an old man vibe, his, his body shape, but for the most part, I can see past it. It's definitely a, a decently proportioned body. He is almost a little bit bow-legged, though, where his body seems kind of thick and sloping down, and the legs seem kind of bow-legged. But that's just my opinion. It does look decent, however. There's lots of detail, nice soft plastic jacket, and it just is a nice paint job as well. Very nice. You can see here he has a nice holster, which is painted very well. Nice metallic paint here. Nice boots, all the nice wrinkles sculpted within. Lots and lots of detail all throughout. Very fantastic. We can brighten this up here so you can see. Lots of sculpting details in the boots and the pants and all throughout the jacket. Nice looks for the hair too. A heck of a lot of sculpting went into this guy. And it definitely is reminiscent of Harrison Ford. But there are a few issues, in my opinion. I think the body is a little bit awkward looking. I do kind of like this new whole body better. Um, however, he does have an incredibly long neck, in my opinion. So this is definitely an improvement 
with the neck. But otherwise, the figure is okay. I do like the face sculpt. It does really capture Harrison Ford. But it is just a little goofy looking in terms of how it's proportioned with the jaw. Otherwise, it is a nice figure. I think it really looks a lot like the New Hope or New Hope Empire Strikes Back Harrison Ford. With that said, let's take a look at the articulation. His head looks down pretty far. However, it looks like his, his joint is coming out there. So you can see it's just going to pop out there. And he also has that new um, piece of articulation with the head where there's a ball joint going in the body and then a joint in the neck. As you can see there, pop that out. So that's a bit different. However, the articulation isn't too bad on the head. It takes a little bit to pop that back in there. Dang. So the articulation looks down about that much. However, the joint is kind of popping out there. He looks up, yeah, kind of far. He has a very nice neck pivot. Absolutely incredible neck pivot, actually. His arms do go out pretty far, forward and back. There is a single joint here. It does rotate as well. There's a rotation of the wrist and a hinge. At the waist, there is a swivel here that serves as a rotation and kind of an ab crunch where it goes back and forward, but not all too far. You really have to bend him at the legs if you want him to look down. You can't really rely on that piece of articulation to look down. There is no waist swivel. just relies on this little uh, swivel here. The legs do go out pretty far. His holster does get in the way a little bit. I should mention too on this Han Solo, this um, holster is not sculpted on here. It is an actual piece that you can remove if you want to take the belt off. But this is sculpted on, which isn't a big deal to me. However, I feel like it does kind of get in the way of the articulation. So you can't kind of push that up at all. It's sculpted on and super glued on. So that's kind of a bummer. There is a rotation here at his thigh. Legs go forward and back. There is double jointed knees. Pretty nice. There's a hinge at the foot and an ankle rocker, but no real rotation aside from up here at the thigh. And finally, we will do a few size comparisons with the Bespin Han Solo. First, we have him next to the Hoth Leia and the New Hope Han Solo, which is definitely a, maybe a tiny bit taller, but honestly, they look to be exactly the same height. However, his head looks a little bit bigger. And then Leia is definitely the right height. She's right at Han's shoulder, so that fits really well. And we have him next to the two new Luke Skywalkers from Bespin and Hoth, the Snowspeeder Luke. And those are definitely in the right size. They're definitely quite a bit shorter than Harrison Ford. And then lastly, we have him next to Billy D. Williams, Lando Calrissian, and Darth Vader. Darth Vader definitely towers Han Solo as he should. And Lando is just a tiny bit shorter, which I think think is correct if I'm not mistaken. So with all that said, I definitely recommend this Han Solo for $20. He's a very nice figure. He does have a few problems with the strange jaw and the hindrance of articulation because of this little holster here. But outside of that, he's a really nice figure, man. He looks a lot like Harrison Ford um, from the movie. He's a lot of great detail, a lot of great articulation. You can definitely get him in some great poses and have some fun with him. So for $20, I definitely recommend him. With that said, thank you for watching this review. I definitely appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video and comment and tell me what else you want to see or your thoughts on this figure. And most importantly, keep collecting. Thanks, guys.